Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest Android 12L One UI 4.1.1 update, recently rolling out to the Tab S8 line, the Tab S7, and other devices. This also came pre-installed on the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4. It's an awesome update, and this is a viewer request video. A longtime supporter of the channel, Shiva, just got the update on his Tab S8 Ultra, and he wanted me to do a video about it, and I am happy to do so. So let's get started with where you can check to see if you already have the updates. So you're going to swipe down on your notification panel, open up settings, scroll all the way down until you get to about tablet or about phone on your device. And you'll go to software information and it should show One UI version 4.1.1 Android 12. And if you want to check for the update, you're going to go ahead and click on software update, download and install. And you'll know that you have the correct version installed when you click on last update and it's going to show you all the information for One UI 4.1.1. And we have quite a few things to go over. This is a pretty substantial update. It's over 2 gigs, almost 2.3 gigs. So let's go ahead and talk about the new functionality that's been added to this latest One UI 4.1.1 update. All right, so the first update I want to talk about is we have this brand new taskbar that shows up whenever you open up an application. It won't be present on your home screen, but once you start opening apps, you'll see it down here. It's going to show recent apps to the right, and it's going to show your pinned apps to the left. You can have up to 14 applications down here, and you basically control that by adding applications from anywhere, your app drawer, wherever it is, or your home screen, and we drag them down here, right? So we're going to put YouTube down there. Now if I swipe over to Samsung News, you'll see that YouTube has now been added in this row of application icons. So this persists throughout your entire user experience when you're not on the home screen. You also have the ability to look at all your apps by clicking on the app drawer icon over here to the left and you can start opening up multi-window apps. We're gonna go over that in just a little bit. Um, another cool feature of this taskbar is that you can enable and disable it by pressing and holding the taskbar. You see it disappears there. And we can re-enable this by tapping and holding the bottom portion of our screen. And there's a the taskbar. Please do note that this only works when you have swipe gestures enabled. If you choose to use the icons down at the bottom to go back home and to view your recent apps, you lose the ability to hide and show the taskbar. It's always going to be visible. Just something to point out if you notice the functionality behaving a little bit differently on yours. So if you got the recent One UI update and you're not noticing your taskbar when you open up an application and when you're pressing and holding down here, let me show you where to enable it in settings. It's probably disabled. Right, you'll swipe down on your notification panel, open up settings, over here, hit display. All right, and then we are going to see taskbar. All right, it's this icon right here. You want to go ahead and turn that on and we also have the ability to show recent apps and show and hide with touch and hold which we already demonstrated so you have two further options that you can enable so go ahead and make sure you have the taskbar on what's really cool about this is for multitasking so let's say we open up an app and we're inside youtube right now so we have a few options to enable multitasking very fast using this taskbar we can click any one of these other icons here and we can press it and we can move it anywhere on the screen and it's gonna open up an app window on that part of the screen. Let's demonstrate that real quick. All right, opens it up here right on the right hand side and that's our camera. And now I can hit that top bar and X out of it. Another cool thing you can do is you can hit the app icon drawer here and we can go ahead and press and hold on any one of these. Let's grab this. And now we can do the same thing with any other application. This is a great way to start up a multitasking session without having to do anything else but use your taskbar. All right, the next feature I want to talk about is we have some new swipe gestures for starting a multitasking session and for enabling pop-up windows. Let me show you where that's at in the settings so you make sure you have them turned on. Swipe down on your notification panel, go into settings. You're going to scroll down on the left until you get to advanced features. All right. Now on the right here, we're going to click on labs. All right, so we have some new options here. Swipe for pop-up view, swipe for split screen. All right, let me show you how these both work. We have them both enabled. Go ahead and turn those on. So what we're gonna do is if you have an application open, like we have the Play Store, we can swipe up with two fingers from the bottom. So this is gonna open up our list of apps and we can pick one of these apps to use in this split screen view. So let's go ahead and grab something, doesn't matter. All right, so it's going to load up here. We have all of our usual multitasking features available to us. So you'll see here above this app, we have this bar right here. We also have it on the top section of this app here. And I'm using the S Pen because the S Pen has a really cool feature. Let me show you what that is. So if we click on the dots here in the middle, 
between these and we hover the S Pen, it'll show contextual help of what this is about before you actually click on it. So we have the middle three dots for switching between the apps like this. We can do all this type of stuff like switching them around just like this. And we also have the bar I mentioned on top of each of these apps. This gives you additional functionality for each one of these apps, like maximizing it, open and pop up view, and we can change the application all from here. So you have this option on both one of these apps and you know, you can play with this to your heart's content, you know, just spinning them around, flipping them around. And the other cool thing too, is once we have these two apps open down in our taskbar, any one of the apps, we can go to our all apps. We can pick one of these down here. If you press and hold, you'll be able to drag this over here and now open up three different apps at once. So we have the camera, the play store and Microsoft Excel open at once. Very cool. In addition to swiping up to get to our app drawer, we can also swipe from the sides with two fingers and that will open up another app on the side. Here we are with our camera. Awesome. You can do that from either side. So from the bottom or from either side to load up an app in that area. All right, let's look at some more cool functionality. So we mentioned we also have the pop-up view. So if you have an application open back to YouTube, you can swipe from either one of these top corners and switch us to a pop-up view application. Let me show you that real quick. We'll do that. There it goes. Minimize it. We can move it around. We can do what we want to it. We can resize it just like that. You have all the same functionality that you normally would up here. We can change the opacity. We can make it full size. We can open and split screen view. We can change the opacity like I mentioned. You have all these different options up here. It's really nice to have your S Pen to hover above these like I mentioned. So you can look at what each one of these does. Miniaturize window, maximize window. There we are back into our app again. And keep in mind, we can have three full different applications running here and a total of eight pop-up windows, giving you a total of 11 applications running at once. And that's without going into Dex mode. That's right here on Android. So some pretty awesome functionality. All right, some more cool functionality that's been added is for our Apps Edge panel. So you enable that by swiping from the right. All right, and what we have here is the ability, if we go into Edit, right, just hit on those three dots down there and hit Edit. We can go in here and hit the three dots at the top. And we now have a new option to show app names, which is pretty cool. You'll see them appear here and you'll see them disappear. It's a nice way to save space and to make things look more concise. All right, so another cool feature that's been added to the latest One UI 4.1.1 update is the ability to extract text from images. Let me show you that real quick. So all you gotta do is take a picture, any picture you want that has text in it, a billboard, a business card, anything like that. You're gonna open it up in your gallery, right? So I've already got a screenshot here that I've taken as just some news feed, just some random stuff here. Galaxy S23 Ultra, blah, blah, blah. So we have two ways of enabling this. The first way is to place your finger and hold it on any text that you want to highlight. All right, it's going to recognize it and give you the option to copy it. We can move these handles around and grab as much as we want. And the other cool thing too, is if you highlight text and it happens to be a phone number, it happens to be an address or a person's name, it will open up the respective app if you click on it. So a phone number will open up the dialer application, an address will open up Google Maps, email will open up an email message, uh, a person's name, you can add them quickly to contacts, all that right from within an image. The other option that you have to enable this is right down here. We have this little orange T, go ahead and click on that. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna highlight all the text that it is screen scraped out of this image and that you can now select. Pretty awesome functionality. We've been needing this for a while, so that's definitely a welcome addition. All right, another cool feature that we have is some extended search functionality within the My Files application. So let's go ahead and open that up real quick. Go to My Files, and you'll go up here into the search bar, click on that, and we have all kinds of stuff, including searching inside files now. So you can literally search for text or some type of value inside a, an Excel file or a Word document or a PDF document, and it will search within the file. We also have some tags that we can use, times. So this is some nice new search functionality that's now built into your My Files application, making our file explorer even better on our Samsung devices. It was already great, now it's even better. And last but not least, we have some new emojis. Let me throw them up here on the screen. Uh, if you want to find out the full list of emojis that are included in Android 12L, just search for Emojis 14, that's the latest release for them, and that's where you'll find them all. So if any of you have any questions or comments, or if I missed anything, 
please jot a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And Shiva, thank you so much for the video idea. I really appreciate you. You've been a long time supporter of the channel and I'm always happy to put these videos out for you guys. And as always, thanks for watching.